This is the Pal Talk News Network. The views expressed are solely those of the speaker and not necessarily those of PalTalk.com, AVM Software, or its advertisers. News Talk is online. News Talk Online, a production of PalTalk.com, the largest multimedia interactive program on the Internet with more than 4 million unique users on demand on iTunes and on YouTube and on Blip TV and on my blog, GaryBaumgarten.com, where you're encouraged to post your comments, whether you agree with yours truly or not. No retribution. And thanks to our good friends at CRN Digital Talk Radio, we're syndicated to an additional 12 million households. I am your host, Gary Baumgarten. I welcome you to the show. And I remind you, as I always do at the beginning of the show, to go to paltalknewsnetwork.com, paltalknewsnetwork.com. Check it early. Check it often. Just like voting in Chicago because, well, let's face it. There's so many things happening in the news. We're updating that site continuously through the day. And if you get up in the morning and with your morning cup of joe or tea or orange juice, you read the Pal Talk News Network site, by evening time, it will have transformed into yet another front page completely because we are constantly updating it. No stale news on PalTalkNewsNetwork.com. On top of all the issues that you need to know about uh, to be an informed citizen of the world, top story today has to do with everybody draw Mohammed Day. Let me put it into a little bit of perspective. The uh, followers of the Muslim faith believe that it's blasphemy to depict the Prophet Muhammad. As I understand it, we actually have two pieces, lead stories, one saying why it's okay to draw Muhammad's picture. It's not an attack on religion. It is an exercise of free speech and expression. The other, uh, from the Islamic perspective, saying it is an attack on uh, the Islamic religion. And you know what? It may be a little bit of both, uh, depending on uh, the motivations of the individuals participating in it. And uh, I'm going to try to as fairly and as objectively and uh, as completely as possible in the next 58 minutes um, bring to you all these different perspectives. So according to the article that was written by the uh, national president of CARE, the Council on Arab American Islamic uh, Relations, uh, Muslims believe uh, that to uh, the fear is that if you draw a picture of Muhammad, then you will perhaps uh, idolize Muhammad and wouldn't put Allah on top. You, in other words, uh, like the Jewish religion, you know, the Ten Commandments tell you, and the Christians as well, uh, that you uh, are not allowed to worship anyone before God. Uh, the Jews interpret that as saying, well, that means idol worshiping is out. And uh, the Muslims, as I understand it, uh, believe that if you depict the picture, uh, de depict Muhammad, then uh, it could lead to uh, idol worshiping. Well, it's expanded way beyond that. As you know, a uh, cartoonist in uh, in uh, Denmark in a newspaper there uh, started this whole controversy by depicting uh, Muhammad with a uh, suicide belt. Uh, strapped to him as a um, an argument against suicide bombings in the name of the Muslim religion, and this sparked the protests, many of them violent, and threats uh, against the life of the cartoonist. More recently, South Park, uh, which is a uh, an adult cartoon show on the Cartoon Network here in the United States. Uh, which pokes fun at every religion and every public figure that they can put in their crosshairs. They poke fun, they do on a regular basis, at Christianity, at Judaism, at Scientology, and recently uh, at this whole controversy over the depiction of the Prophet Muhammad. And they got around this uh, by um, 
depicting Muhammad in a bear suit. So it's not really a picture of Muhammad. It's a picture of Muhammad in a bear suit, kind of poking fun at uh, all of this uh, screaming over what uh, the uh, folks who are responsible, the creators of that show, believe uh, is just a freedom of expression. And those of us in the West, of course, very much, and especially here in the United States, um, support freedom of expression and freedom of speech. And of course, a radical Islamic site, uh, unfortunately, uh, called for a jihad against those uh, two individuals, the creators of South Park, and uh, said that they might end up like Daniel Pearl, who, as we all know, was beheaded because he was a Jewish journalist uh, reporting events in the Middle East for the Wall Street Journal. So a cartoonist in Seattle decided, well, let's protect those fellow cartoonists uh, from the jihadists by encouraging every cartoonist to, on May the 20th, uh, draw a picture of Mohammed, because surely they can't come after all of them. And uh, this was picked up by non-cartoonists, who have now today, mainly on Facebook, have uh, depicted uh, pictures of Mohammed. Uh, some of them, maybe not just because they support freedom of expression and freedom of speech, but because they want to use it as a means of attacking Islam, which is what many Muslims fear that this has uh, become an attack on Islam. Actually, I think it's pretty stupid uh, on the extremes on both sides of this. If you want to draw a picture of Mohammed, you can, but you probably shouldn't be rubbing salt into a wound, you know, just to blatantly attack all of Islam. That's where I stand on it. Um, but uh, I believe and I support the right of the cartoonists in Denmark and, and South Park to poke fun at anybody and any religion uh, that they wish, including mine. Um, it's their right under our freedom of speech. And uh, we support that. On the other hand, you don't want the protests to be hijacked by those who just want to blatantly attack uh, all Muslims. And if you read the article that was written by the uh, National President of CARE, uh, you would see that there are nuances there. They repudiate uh, the threats and the violence against those who have depicted the Prophet Muhammad. So... It's interesting. I don't think there uh, there's a monolithic view among those in um, uh, the Muslim community. However, there is an official view in Pakistan where they have uh, banned, blocked both YouTube now and Facebook from Pakistan because there are images of the Prophet Muhammad uh, on those two sites, which I think is really stupid, but I obviously don't fully understand all this. I'm going to start by asking uh, Sammy Zatari uh, to 